Hello, plant enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving deep into the world of plant vascular tissues, specifically xylem and phloem. Plant vascular tissues are the lifelines of plants, responsible for transporting water, nutrients, and organic compounds throughout the entire plant structure. Vascular bundles have been around for hundreds of millions of years. They are a key innovation in plant evolution, allowing plants to grow taller and adapt to various environments. Before we dive into xylem and phloem, let's explore how these vital tissues develop. Vascular tissues originate from meristematic cells, particularly in the apical meristems and lateral meristems, like the vascular cambium. Now, let's discuss xylem tissues. Understanding xylem is key to comprehending how plants grow, thrive, and adapt to their environments. From towering trees to delicate wildflowers, xylem tissues are an essential part of the botanical world. Xylem cells in vascular bundles are like the plant's plumbing system responsible for transporting water and dissolved minerals from the roots to the rest of plant. The water can move at incredible speeds, sometimes exceeding 100 meters per hour in tall trees, making it one of the fastest elevators on Earth. Xylem consists of several key cell types, including tracheids, vessel elements, xylem parenchyma, and xylem fibers. Tracheids are long, tapering cells that make up a significant portion of the xylem in most vascular plants. They have thick walls and small, overlapping pits. These cells are highly specialized for water transport and provide structural support to the plant. Vessel elements, on the other hand, are wider and shorter cells with perforated end walls. These perforations, called vessel perforation plates, allow for more efficient water flow between cells. Vessel elements are characteristic of angiosperms, or flowering plants. Xylem parenchyma cells are associated with the xylem and are often found interspersed among the tracheids and vessel elements. Unlike tracheids and vessel elements, xylem parenchyma cells retain their nuclei and are involved in various metabolic functions, including storage and repair. Xylem fibers are long, thick-walled cells that provide structural support to the plant. They are typically found alongside tracheids and vessel elements. These fibers add strength to the plant's xylem helping it withstand mechanical stress. These various xylem components work in synergy to transport water and dissolved minerals efficiently throughout the plant. Xylem is typically located at the center of the stem and roots. Water and minerals are transported through xylem vessels due to transpiration and cohesion tension mechanisms. In some plants, like bamboo, the vascular bundles are particularly large and efficient. Bamboo can transport water and nutrients at an astonishing rate, which helps it grow rapidly, sometimes up to one meter per day. Xylem cells have thick walls reinforced with lignin, making them strong and rigid. In some trees, like the giant sequoia, the xylem can be so sturdy that it provides natural resistance against rot and decay allowing these trees to live for thousands of years. Let's shift our focus towards phloem tissues, one of the unsung heroes of the plant kingdom. Have you ever wondered how plants transport the essential nutrients they produce through photosynthesis to various parts of their bodies? Well, it's all thanks to the incredible phloem tissue. In this video, We'll exploring its structure, function, and the remarkable way it sustains life in the plant world. Phloem is responsible for transporting organic compounds, 
primarily sugars, from the leaves to other parts of the plant. While xylem cells are typically dead at maturity, phloem cells in vascular bundles remain alive. They maintain their metabolic activity to support the movement of sugars throughout the plant, akin to a living transportation system. Phloem consists of sieve tube elements, companion cells, phloem parenchyma, and phloem fibers. Sieve tube elements are the main functional cells of the phloem. They are elongated, tube-like cells that form the condits for transporting sugars and other organic compounds throughout the plant. These cells have specialized sieve plates with perforations that allow for the movement of nutrients between cells. Companion cells are closely associated with sieve tube elements and play a crucial role in supporting their metabolic activities. They maintain their nuclei and are responsible for providing energy and nutrients to the sieve tube elements, ensuring the efficient transport of sugars. Phloem parenchyma cells are dispersed throughout the phloem tissue and serve various functions. These cells store starch and other substances, participate in metabolic processes, and help maintain phloem integrity. Phloem fibers are long, slender cells that provide structural support to the phloem tissue. Their strong walls enhance the overall stability of the phloem and help resist mechanical stresses. These various components of phloem work in harmony to transport sugars and other organic compounds efficiently throughout the plant. Phloem functions through a process called translocation, where sugars are actively transported from source to sink tissues. This happens thanks to the pressure flow mechanism, with companion cells supporting the metabolic functions of sieve tube elements. Now, let's delve into the differences between phloem versus xylem. These two tissues are crucial for a plant's survival. Phloem and xylem are specialized tissues found in plants, responsible for the transportation of essential substances. Think of them as the plant's circulatory system. But here's the catch. They have distinct roles. Xylem is like the plant's water highway. It primarily transports water and minerals from the roots to the rest of the plant. These tissues are made up of dead cells with lignin walls, creating a sturdy and rigid structure. This structural feature helps support the plant. Phloem, on the other hand, is all about moving food. It transports the products of photosynthesis, such as sugars and other organic compounds, from the leaves where they are produced to other parts of the plant for growth, storage, or energy. One of the key differences between phloem and xylem lies in the types of cells they are composed of. Xylem cells are mostly dead at maturity, forming long, hollow tubes, while phloem cells are alive and actively involved in the transportation process. Another significant difference is the direction of transport. Xylem primarily transports water and minerals upward, from the roots to the leaves. So it's a one-way flow, while phloem transports organic compounds in both directions, up and down the plant. So, how do these differences impact plant growth? Xylem's role in water transport is crucial for maintaining turgidity and supporting the plant's structure, while phloem's transport of sugars and nutrients is essential for growth, reproduction, and energy production. In conclusion, phloem and xylem are like the dynamic duo of a plant's vascular system working together to ensure its survival and growth. While xylem focuses on water and mineral transport, phloem takes care of the plant's food distribution. Plant vascular tissues are organized into vascular bundles, 
which may vary in arrangement between monocots and dicots. For example, in monocots like grasses, they are scattered throughout the stem, whereas in dicots like trees, they are arranged in a ring. Plus, the vascular bundles are crucial for both primary and secondary growth in plants. Primary growth is responsible for the plant's initial growth in length, while secondary growth, mainly driven by the vascular cambium, increases the plant's girth. Keep in mind that the structure and activity of xylem and phloem can vary among plant species. For example, in deciduous trees, the activity of vascular bundles changes with the seasons. During winter, the xylem may slow down to conserve water, while in the spring, it revs up to transport water needed for new leaf growth. Moreover, some desert plants have developed specialized vascular bundles that allow them to store water efficiently. These adaptations help them survive in harsh, water-scarce environments. And there you have it. A comprehensive overview of plant vascular tissues, from their development to their components, functions, and how they support plant life. So, the next time you admire a beautiful garden or a towering tree, remember that beneath the surface, a complex network of phloem and xylem tissues is hard at work, keeping the plant healthy and thriving. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and also press the bell icon for more videos about science and biology.